should it be banned? So, so with whatever other reason one might object to TikTok, the fact that it's a Chinese company and the history of this exercise yeah. is that China has typically has back doors into access and who you are and what you're doing. That is that is a natural state of their government to have that kind of access to their people. By the way, our companies and our own government has kind of that same access to us, except it's our own government. Yeah, exactly. So don't yeah. look at this as oh, that's some special access. Sure. All right. Facebook knows everything there is to know about you. I'm not debating right. that. Yeah. So I would be in favor and I don't I haven't followed this lately, the latest after we've first advised Trump on this. This mm -hmm. is back a few years ago. Mm -hmm. It was the one of the, it was a brand new board of the Pentagon, uh, the Defense Innovation Board, where innovative things that were happening in the world, ready for the 21st century and whatever it delivers. So the point is, I could imagine just if they maybe they've already done this. I don't know. Split the company and just have a TikTok America that has no ties back to China. Other they than try that, to do that. They uh, try to force them to uh, sell, uh, right? Yeah, if you remember. Otherwise, or, or other than maybe yeah. an annual you know board right. meeting or something, make yeah. sure the mission statements are aligned. I. I I, don't, I wouldn't have any problem with that. Yeah, and then and then the question becomes, it's kind of like saying the following, which is kind of weird. Imagine if TikTok USA was allowed to be bought by Elon Musk. Holy shit. Now, that's a crazy situation, right, if that were to happen. If they allowed somebody like, like him to buy it. Because the first thing he's going to do is, you want to talk about Twitter files? It becomes TikTok files times a thousand. <laughs> Every day like we China get TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I, I want you to see this. So this is, uh, uh, make the video bigger. So this is a guy, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see his face. This guy, Neil Shen is a, he's a $4 billion guy and Neil Shen is being interviewed here by, Neil Shen is a member of the 10th CPPCC National Committee, Vice President of Professional Committee of Venture Capital Fund of Asset Management. Da, 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 da. Anyways, he's connected. with Sequoia. Mm -hmm. He's a very connected guy yeah. and he's a $4 billion guy. Now watch this interviewer asks a very basic question, but watch how he defines AI and why China's better than us in AI. I just want to get your reaction on this. Go for it. So it's a minute half clip. In fact, fundamentally, what is AI in the whole science field? It's math mathematics and statistics. And China has a very strong talent in these two areas. You, you've got a smile on your face as if to say, yeah, well, we can do that. I'm an I'm applied math major when I was undergrad in China. And there are many of my talented, uh, you know, alums and colleagues. I'm pretty sure they could do well so you, on that. So you've got the talent and you've got the data. Is the environment for getting hold of that data easier in, in China? Is the regulatory environment, does that make life easier? Because in, in Europe, for example, we have quite strict rules about privacy and, and so forth. Well, I think privacy and protections is always a issue, whether it's in UK or whether in US or in China. I think there are different sectors uh, in China have Watch different this. regulations. It's coming right I here. do think those regulations are very important and relevant. But in general, I think there is just more data point. But there is surely a, a danger that AI can be used as a tool of suppression a, a, and surveillance. And I'm going to stick my neck out here and say in an authoritarian country such as China, does that worry you at all? I don't think so. Watch Why this. Not? I mean, could you just engage with the question a, a bit? Because it is clearly, you know, to say that we collect data everywhere, but you are not prepared to talk about that? I mean, it could make the censorship of the internet the much easier, couldn't it? Silence. I mean, is it broadly true, Mr. Shen, that you just don't want to talk about the implications for a more authoritarian society? Awkward. Just Awkward. leave a little bit of a hole around that. Well, Still not we'll, we'll move on. Um, so he went from very talkative to silent, silent. Yeah, when they it, asked him about authority. Have to go off script there. Yeah. There you go. I agree with or you. Or ruffle a little bit of feathers. Well, you know what he's saying. No, no. I think it's what he's saying. Go off script. And yeah. off script is... It's a question that wasn't yeah. scripted. That sounds like. But he's right that the AI can process information manifold faster than any other kind of way you would ever analyze information. If the enemy, like China, knows how to use AI, they can completely reshape the way of thinking for your nation. By the way, China has a minister of AI. The United Arab Emirates has a minister wow. of AI. Rob, can you pull this up? So these these would this is our equivalent of a, a cabinet member. Yeah, we do yeah. not have a minister of AI. Why do we not have one? This is America. <laughs> I don't know. No, America. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, if you visit other countries, they see, know, and care about the future of AI on a level. Now, of course, the military has an AI group that are thinking deeply about how that would be invoked. Uh, on my 
uh, board, we, uh, because AI would come under the innovation umbrella, uh, and our board, we put parameters about how the military would ever use AI in a dis in what would be a lethal decision. And what kind of, uh, should there be a human in the loop, the AI would not be making that decision autonomously. So we put in a, a system of ethics related to it. So with so it's not like no one in our government is thinking about it, but imagine if there was a, a cabinet post, a secretary of AI, that would change people's awareness of its value, the governance of this nation, and what it might be doing in other nations. We haven't, and we're not. We're arguing about whether humans are warming the earth, okay? This is what's going on in America. <laughs> Very interesting what you just said. So, so you're saying if we have, if we had to uh, create a priority of what to study as a nation to create security and safety for its people, you're saying climate change wouldn't be in your top five. You you would put AI. It sounds like you're saying AI studying something of the space. No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't rank them. I just do them all. You don't have to rank things. But you got to kind of budget. Like, you know how you said one time, you know, our budget for space is 0.4% of 1%, which is, let me break this. Remember the one you broke yeah. that? Mm -hmm. I thought I was like, the, so out of yeah. the, what? Whatever budget we got, 0.4 percent of every dollar yeah. it's, is spent. If you, if you cut a, a dollar bill, yeah, 0.4 percent of it doesn't even get you into the ink. Mm. It's just the mm. edge, the border. Of, Down the, the edge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so all, it, a form of where we put our money is a form of saying what's the priority. Yes, of course. But uh, I'm just saying I don't need to put it in one place and not another place if you can put it in both places. Well, That's if all. you could put more resources in one place, what would it be? If you could put in this more, country right now, yeah, yeah, sources of energy that are renewable, which would include fusion, nuclear fusion, as we had the ignition. Test no. just a couple of weeks ago, successful at the Lawrence Livermore Labs. That's a basically clean energy. We just have to figure out how to contain it and throttle it and use it in ways we need. So that I, I would do that. Uh, I would also consider turning the solar system into our backyard. Rare earth elements, for example, that are causing some geopolitical uh, tension and conflict, access to them for all of our modern day electronics. There are asteroids that have nothing but rare earth elements in them. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're common asteroid elements. <laughs> so the asteroids have pre-sifted these ingredients out there in space when they all formed. And so... Uh, yeah, there's the breakthrough you have up there on the on the chart. So, so yeah, I, w I would do that because that has a much longer value time to civilization than anything else we're debating wow. today. And I'd throw in, uh, I, I, I'd redouble, I'd double down on whether quantum entanglement can matter in any important way and quantum computing for sure. Quantum entanglement? Is that something Jada Pinkett knows? What, what, <laughs> uh, 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 what kind of? Will Smith. I thought you said entanglement. What is quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement. It's a whole thing. Yeah.